there was another overwhelming outpouring of support during this year's Festival of Hope. The nonprofit organization raises money for local cancer patients to help offset non-medical related expenses such as groceries, fuel and rent. For the past two years, the Valley Alternative Learning Transitioning School, or VALTS, has had a booth at the event selling items made by students. Instructor Karen Reason, a cancer survivor herself, explains why they've become so vested in Festival of Hope. Well, last year we decided we wanted to do something for Festival of Hope. The students and I talked about it. I talk about my cancer journey in the classroom. Um, we've got other staff members that have had cancer journeys. And so the kids are well aware of that, plus their own cancer journeys within their own families. So we made the slime for last year. It was an interesting project. We sold a lot. We donated $930 to Festival of Hope. This year we went a little different and we went with gnomes, being gnome more cancer and we let the kids loose. We gave them the supplies and told them to make something that means something to them. Um, we provided everything for them and we came up with 110 different gnomes. Vaults graduate Adam Keller volunteered his time the past two years selling their creations. Uh, well, for year one, it was, it was a fun experience to do. It was a nice thing to you know, help people out. You know, try to give money to a good cause, that kind of stuff. And I came back, you know, it gives you kind of a good feeling when you do something good for the community and whatnot. Reason added, it's been very rewarding to get a younger generation involved in such an impactful program like the Festival of Hope. Now, if you were unable to attend this year's event but would like to purchase a $10 gnome to support the Festival of Hope, you can swing by vaults at the Harm Center in Scottsbluff until the end of June.